www.nancyoradioshow.com. Welcome to Hip Hop Bites, powered by the Nancy O Radio Show, the only place to get the latest opinions and discussions surrounding technology's impact on the entertainment industry. I'm your host today, Mr. Shadid. On today's Hip Hop Bites, we're going to discuss social media manners on today's show. Social networks are a part of our daily lives to the point where if someone is not on Facebook in 2011, you may view them as a person who just doesn't get it. With regard to human beings and communication, the majority of person-to-person communication is in fact nonverbal. To put it in English, nonverbal communication involves body language, which are the actions and reactions that a person, you know, uh, consciously or unknowingly does in order to deliver a message while in a situation. The majority of our dominant social networking platforms feature online communications that are primarily text and data-driven entries and sometimes feature voice and video. Now with the written word, context, meaning, understanding, and comprehension can get jumbled up and misconstrued pretty quickly. As those of us who interact with social media on a routine basis know, these things can uh, cause real world consequences and repercussions that can impact your job, that can impact your relationships, that can impact your personal safety. Reality is in today's world, the online world and offline world are on a collision course in today's society. This means what you post online can have a real world impact, especially on Facebook, due to the reality that if you post a message on your Facebook friend's wall, everyone from the recipient's family, their colleagues, and their classmates going back as far as elementary school can read it. If the intent of the message is something derogatory and or extremely personal in nature, it can stir up a hornet's nest that can have a bad situation written all over it. So let's discuss social media manners. We're here on Hip Hop Bites, and we need to uh, start fresh, start anew. We're going into spring. So let's discuss social media manners and uh, some of the things that we can do to uh, better manage our interactions with each other online. Number one. Let respect be the cornerstone of all social media interactions. Now let's examine what this means, respect online. Always take the high road with your social media interactions. Respect starts with awareness, ladies and gentlemen. Your timeline is public. Your comments are being read by people of races, creeds, colors of all types. Off-color remarks and jokes should be taken with consideration of the audience. Uh, Context, you know, things you say in context, you may joke with your friends, but that conversation is public. Even if you're directing your comments to a specific person, your other friends or followers can view that comment and or discussion with that individual. Now, if you have a disagreement or a tweet was taken out of context, attempt to contact that person in the most direct means possible outside of the public timeline. This can mean email, this can mean text message, this can mean phone, whichever way is comfortable for you or the way that you can directly reach that individual. If you cannot reach them, then delete the comment if possible and just keep things moving forward and attempt to contact them when you get the chance. Now, with relationships, this is a special area. Uh, If you have an ex-boyfriend or ex-girlfriend who decides to expose, quote unquote, private pictures, private text messages, and personal videos, my advice is don't feed into it. Again, we're talking about respect. And you may say, Mr. D, how can I respect someone who doesn't respect me? Respect for others starts with respect for self. You don't want to uh, put yourself and drag yourself down to that level. I want you to delete it from your page if it's posted there. 
contact that social network's administrator. I even recommend contacting your attorney. Bottom line is don't feed into the emotions you may feel. It's simply not worth playing that game. Again, respect for others starts with respect for self. And if you respect yourself, you will not put yourself in a situation with someone who is looking to tear you down. That's let respect be the cornerstone of all social media interactions. Let's move forward with number two. If you post or tweet a link to your content, we can call that promotion. If you do it repeatedly, it's abuse. Artists are guilty of link abuse, but today we're going to use this opportunity to correct this trend. If I'm on Twitter, for example, and I receive a link to a music video I'm not familiar with and an artist I've never heard of, the first thing I may do is check your profile to see uh, what you're about, learn more information about you. Then make the decision whether I'm going to check the link. In today's world of uh, phishing and spam and viruses and security violations, uh, unknown links or untrusted links are the enemy. Most people do not trust or check on links that come from sources they don't trust. That's a given. So if I see that all you've done over the past day is post the same link you sent to me to 50 other people, then I'm not going to check for your music. I'm not going to access the link. Most people who receive music submissions for a living will most likely block you from their friends list. The polite way to promote your content is to take the time to build relationships with people online by initiating discussions, asking questions and answering them too, participating in group chats online, and several other methods. But you can start with those. I'm more willing to accept silver from someone that I know than gold from someone I don't. So once again, if you post a tweet or a link to your content, we can call that promotion. If not, it's abuse. Number three, general rules for social media manners include saying thank you if someone retweets your post, adds you to a follow Friday, or includes a comment on your blog, for example. You also want to read the entire conversation between two or more people before posting. What are some of your social media manners? Hip Hop Bites listeners, I love to hear some of your uh, manners, your best practices, things you do. So let's discuss ways that we can uh, use our social networks more effectively. You can follow me on Twitter to discuss at twitter.com forward slash Mr. Shadi. Now, if you enjoy Hip Hop Bites and you want the digital goodness that I'm capable of providing on a consistent basis, Please go to MrShotD.com. At the very bottom of the page, select subscribe for email updates. Enter your information and we can get started on a very informative partnership together. I hope you enjoy social media manners here on Hip Hop Bites. This is Mr. Shotd signing off. Go digital or go home.